Okay, so now we're going to start the Econ Studio to actually create a model. So I'm going to Econ. I'm on Microsoft Dynamics NAV. I'm going to click the icon here to start up Econ straight from Microsoft Dynamics NAV. It doesn't have to be started from Microsoft Dynamics products, but you could start straight from NAV, AX, or CRM. So I'm going to first start creating a simple model. I'm going to come over here on my left side and do a new model. First thing I'm going to do to this new model is to name it. So I'm going to click over here and on the right side I'm going to give it a name. Simple Demo Model. Great. Now I have started my model. I want this model to be an item model, so I want this model to create an item for me. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to go in and look at my metadata for my product configuration. Metadata is all of the relationships that Econ knows of within Microsoft's Dynamics NAV. It would have also metadata for Microsoft Dynamics AX as well as Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And you can always create new metadata, create new groups, and tell the system the information that is in your backend system. In our case of the Dynamics products, we already have predefined sets of metadata to be able to integrate with Econ. So can just come over here for example I'd like for the items table structure so I can just drag and drop from my metadata to my model and here I have my item structure and it brought with it all of its properties now I don't want for this simple model to have every single one of these properties so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and delete them all I'm going to open up my item property on my left side and I'm going to just add a couple of different properties that I'd like to have on this model so I'm going to start with the base unit of measure I like to have that in there and then I'll have I'll add description that will be important for us description then I'm going to add maybe item number is going to be required and then finally unit price I'd like to add unit price okay great so now I have not only the item structure but I also have the properties that are pertinent to what we're going to build in, in this model see here a, a, an order of my properties I'd like to just sync bring the number up and then the description then the unit price also for these properties I'd like to change them a little bit some of their properties some of their characteristics like for example description I would like for the description to be mandatory so over here I have a property of the description to make it mandatory set it to true on my base unit of measure I want to go ahead and set a default to pieces so it'll always be pieces and since it's always going to be pieces I don't even need to see it so I'm going to come over here to my visible property and I'm going to set it to false which means that when I look at my model I won't see the base unit of measure at all it'll automatically default to pieces now let's say I want to add some some of my own properties. So I'm going to start with maybe color and let's say that this property has a couple of different options. Let's add to this red, blue, and maybe a special color. Let's add another property called model. I have a couple of options in here. 
the first one might be light, the second one heavy, for example. I'm going to go ahead and add a new property called material. And uh, this will have a couple of different options. The first one will be aluminum, and the second one, steel. So I'd like to add one more for when we create a rule later on. I want to have my color number so that when we have a special color, we can choose a number. And then lastly but not least, I'd like to add a reference. A reference is like a new level for this model. So for this reference, I'd like to have my accessories as a new reference. And I can add as many accessories as I'd like here. I'll just add four and I won't change their name just to serve it as an example. And that's it. I have uh, my model right here. So if I'd like to go ahead and browse this model, so straight from my studio, I'm actually compiling the model and actually generating C sharp code which then gets transformed into this DLL so I can run it or use it on runtime. So here it is. Now I have my model. I can enter my number, description. Typically on a item creation, you'd like for that number to be either set up through the rules, so you define what that smart number is, or then through an automatic numbering system. Just trust me, we can do that. Uh, for this presentation, I'll use it a manual value. Her description, notice that it's bold because it's mandatory enterprise color. And I have my options for color, model, and material. And on my accessories, remember I had it in a different level. If I check it, I get to see my accessories. Okay, great. So straight from the model, I was able to browse this. And if we go back over to my Microsoft Dynamics NAV, I'm going to be able to see that this model is already available here for us. I go into my generic models, list my models. I called it Simpo Demo Model. Here it is. I can actually go into Functions, Configure. Here I have my model. I can enter my model number, which for this case will be a whole lot of ones. Can enter a description, simple demo model number. Unit price, let's make it $100. I have my color red, color number I won't pick right now. I have my model light accessory, and you could have picked some accessories here. Once I process this model, as I'm going to do right now, it actually went through and created an item in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. If I close out of these forms and I go into my inventory, so purchase, inventory, and costing, item, and I can list my items. The item number that I had was, there he is, 11111. And I see it right there already. So here I have the item I just created. I have that default of pieces, and I actually already have a working model that created a new item in my Microsoft Dynamics product. Just to show you how simple it was for me to just create
create a model, a couple different properties by leveraging the metadata that we already have set up of the main tables, the main different areas, though you can always add to it. I've already been able to create an item through my model. For more information about this product or other to increase products, please visit www.to-increase.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.